What up, YouTube? This is your boy, Sherry Speaks, man. Courtesy of comicbook.com and Patrick Kavanaugh for writing this article on my birthday. And nonetheless, man, I appreciate you, bro. Now, a number of actors in the world of comic books have pulled double duty throughout their careers, with Variety reporting that following Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, star Jason Momoa will be leaving Arthur Curry behind to take on the mantle of Lobo and Superman Legacy. Now, y'all, that's pretty damn dope, man, because we all know Jason Momoa is a hell of a fucking actor, and he's very, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, he is extremely worthy of all the success that comes to him, man. He's just put the work in. Okay, moving forward. Um, so, or on a potential standalone film. Now, while it has been more commonplace to see one actor play multiple roles in disconnected franchises, such as Perceptus playing Johnny Storm in two Fantastic Four movies before it can become a Steve Rogers, this would mark a notably quick turnaround from one popular DC role to another, though it would be a shift likely to be welcomed by fans. I'm sorry, though it, it would be a shift likely to be welcomed by fans. Sorry about that. I just lost my damn place. Oh, here it is. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is currently set to hit theaters on December 20th of this year. So, and it's really crazy how fast that really came about, man. I, really, I remember when they first announced it. So, in addressing the future of the DC Universe, under the leadership of Gunn and Peter Safran, the outlet pointed out, quote, Momoa may return, just not as Aquaman. Sources say the actor has engaged in talks to play Lobo, either in 2025 reboot of Superman Legacy, written and directed by Gunn, or in a standalone film, end quote. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. Do you guys, are you guys really happy about this, guys? Uh, where do you guys see the DCEU going from here? Let your boy know in the comments.